Hey guys, uh, hope everybody's having a great weekend. I thought I'd uh, pull another uh, stack from the stack. <laughs> uh, just some more assorted uh, random DC and Marvel stuff, most of it's from the 70s. Uh, so I'm not really sure what's in it, so I'm just going to get started and hope you guys see something you like. Uh, I, think I got a little stack of uh, some Superboy and Legion stuff from the 70s. There's a Superboy and Legion 235. Yeah, it's got uh, Mike Grell covering art. Okay, Adventure 460. Uh, this is when it went uh, dollar size. Uh, he had a lot of cool features in here Wonder Woman, Flash, Dead Man, uh, Aquaman, Green Lantern. Uh, a lot of cool artists in here. New Gods, they had a feature in there too. Okay. There's Adventure 461. And I think this is right after they uh, canceled uh, the first series of All Star comics. So you got the, uh, you got the JSA, the Justice Society, uh, starting in this issue. And you still have Flash and Wonder Woman, uh, Dead Man. That's a really cool Jim Apparel cover. And on your back you got uh, Joe Staten. I'm not a huge fan of Staten, but he, uh, some of the stuff he did on JSA was pretty cool. And that's a pretty cool page right there. Okay, go to uh, She-Hulk, number 17. I always thought this was a cool series. I really liked the uh, series John Byrne did later. He kind of had a funny take on She-Hulk, and that was that was a great series too. I, I really like this, and mostly uh, I like the art. Uh, Mike Vosberg's not a name you hear a lot. For some reason, I just uh, I just really like that guy's art. Uh, and it's a pretty cool cover too. Okay, another blast from the past. Uh, Shazam number 32. Uh, back in the 70s, you had uh, what they called DC TV comics. And uh, see up here, they'd always put this little marker where you had uh, Shazam and Isis, uh, Super Friends, and uh, actually Welcome Back Cotter. DC had a series named Welcome Back Cotter for a while. I think that's a uh, Kurt Schaffenberger on the art on the cover. More Superboy in the Legion 237. And uh, for a while, these were all giant size books. They were like 15, 60 cents. And they had uh, either one long story or, you know, maybe a couple of stories. Yep, that's uh, Mike Grell and uh, Joe Rubenstein. And this must be a reading copy. It's got a chunk out of the bottom. Same book. And this is, uh, I've probably got three or four copies of this just because I like the book. This is a Superboy and the Legion 239. Obviously, this is the reading copy. <laughs> but it had a really cool uh, Mike Grell cover. And then uh, Jim Starlin did the interior art. So there's some really cool art in this book. There's some stuff cut out of this, and I'm sure I bought this when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, it's really great art and story. Okay, here's some more cool stuff. A lot of you know I'm a big sci-fi fan. And there was only five issues of this, but it was just a great anthology series, uh, Time Warp. And it was a dollar book. Uh, it was either like 68 or 80 pages. But uh, just you need to take a look at the artists. If you can see that at the top. You got Joe Orlando, Steve Ditko, Gil Kane, Howard Chaikin, Michael Kaluta, Mike Nasser, or Netzer, or Jerry Grandinetti, Don Newton, Dave Gibbons, Romeo Tungal. I think John Solardo, but a lot of really great stories, and all of them have uh, Mike Kaluta covers. 
here's number four. Another cool Kaluta cover. And more Steve Ditko and Kaluta and Nasser. Don Newton, Steve Mitchell, Fred Carrillo. And I got Sergeant Rock, number 330. Another cool Kubert cover. Like I said, I think not a lot of them, but some of these are reading copies because I can tell you know, the pages are all dinged up, and I probably rolled some of these up in my back pocket and took them to school. But uh, another Superboy in the Legion 242, really nice uh, Jim Sherman cover. And number 241, more Sherman art on the cover. Another 241. I think this was my original copy. And number 242. I think this was uh, part of the Earth War saga. Really cool uh, Grail and Rubenstein cover. You actually have the uh, Substitute Legion down here. And if you can name all those guys, you score points in my book. Of course I can name them, but I'm an old guy, though. Okay, you've got more of a cool little title. I'm trying to complete my run on these, but this is a, it's probably something I bought when I was a kid because it's beat up. Uh, there's Nova number 13. Number 16. Against an old, old villain, the Yellow Claw. And this is number 19, Nova against Blacklight. It kind of looks like, uh, I think that's a, an Infantino cover. I'm uh, sure a lot of you that, uh, follow comics. Just heard, heard about uh, Carmen Infantino passing away. Uh, long time comics pro. Number 21, another Infantino cover. And number 25. Human Fly, number 14. It's Larry Lubers and uh, Bob McLeod on the art, on the cover. Human Fly, number 12. Wow. Actually didn't know that I had this. Uh, X Men number ninety five. I guess maybe like the third appearance of the new X Men after uh, Giant Size One and ninety four. Or maybe 94 came first, I'm not sure. I'm sure a lot of you X guys could tell me. And some more Marvel Horror. Tomb of Darkness, number 20. Yeah, four Star Spectacular, number 2. This was uh, mainly a reprint book. 
Uh, but you got uh, Superboy and Flash, Wonder Woman. Who else? Yeah, I think there was like four features in this, and uh, it always had Superboy and Wonder Woman and like a couple rotating features. But uh, there's an Ernie Chan cover. And last one in the stack. Uh, really cool Severin cover. Uh, Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos, number 61. That book's in actually pretty nice shape. Uh, but this has got really good art in it. So Dick Ayers and uh, John Severin. Alright, guys, that's all we got for now. Uh, I've still got most of a box left. I'll be pulling out some more of that stack and uh, I just got uh, some more stuff in from my comic shop, some more ape stuff. I'll be showing it. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments and uh, onward and upward.